Hi, this is Boyne Stoop, and today I'm going to show a new invention, which is an adjustable non-stick bread loaf pan. I really like baking bread, but in the past I've always had trouble getting the bread out of the pan, and sometimes I'd have too much dough and the pan wasn't large enough. So what I was looking to make was a completely non-stick bread pan that was adjustable in size. And I'm using it today with the no need bread recipe, shabbata bread is what some people call it, which I have here in the bowl. This was uh, prepared yesterday in five minutes and it consists of four cups of flour, general purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of oil, and a half a teaspoon of yeast and about two cups of water and when I say two cups of water I put it in until it's about all collected and there's usually some water left over not quite two cups of water so here we go this is a non-stick sheet of Teflon nothing sticks to it this is about five years old and it's almost as clean as it is as it was the day I, I bought it so it's thin, it'll take the 475 degrees, and uh, nothing will stick to it. These are the components of my non-stick fry pan. These pieces were made by cutting up a cookie sheet, and I cut it out and bent it. And it's just going to form the bread pan. Here we go. Everything is going to take place on this surface. I'm going to try with my black shirt and black uh, countertop. I'm going to see if I could do it without getting any flour anywhere but on the Teflon. First a little flour. I scrape my dough. Notice the gluten that has developed overnight. This was prepared yesterday. And we're just going to work this a little bit and get the flour into the surface. Not a lot. We can press out the bubbles. Really not too critical. It's become, becoming more and more workable and handleable. We're getting a rough shape of a, of a loaf. So far so good. And now for the bread pan. Very simple. We just slide in our side. Now the other side. That's our rough loaf shape. Even it out. Now, if I didn't have any ends, it would just flow out to the sides. Actually, I made these today. Under the Teflon. This one side. And there we go. You might want to come down, take a look down into this pan. There's our pan. And after it rises, I'm going to put it in the oven just the way it is. And as you can see, not too much of a mess. And we're all ready to go.
Hi again, this is Boyden Stew. The oven is at 475. It's been in there for 35 minutes. Turn off the, clear the oven off. Notice I have poppy seeds and sesame seeds, uh, which I put on after I washed it with egg white. And now we're going to deplane it. Pan it, excuse me. So what could be it? It's easier than this. You take off the two ends, take off the two sides. That's really the purpose of, of doing it. And here's our, our loaf. Okay, now we're going to take a first slice. It's got that nice hollow thump to it. Take a look at the crumb now. Still steaming, but you get the idea. This is really good bread. It's very easy to make. It only took about five minutes to mix it up. Stood overnight doing its thing as far as the yeast. These components are very simple. I could have made this bread into a baguette shape or uh, even a little taller and, 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 uh, or wider. I could go any way I wish to go. The basic point is that if you use Teflon, nothing sticks. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video.